Hello, welcome to the world of wings, worms, and wonder. Today we're sketching tulips. To begin, make an egg shape and then go up from the bottom for the side petals and then make a little rainbow shape at the top where the petals meet for the back petal. Do that about four times. I chose four because um, it looked pretty like a bouquet. Add your stems and make sure some are going behind, some are going in front, that adds interest and then add your leaves. And tulip leaves are pointy on the end, so remember that, and have about four. But they also fold, so they have kind of a straight bottom where that main vein would be, and then the rounder outer edge. Now to add your color, we're using markers. I chose the four colors that I talked about the symbolism in the blog post that goes with this. Um, yellow, white, purple, and red. When you're working with markers, it's always uh, important to layer them so it looks a little more sophisticated, a little has more depth. So um, with yellow, I layered a little green to reflect the colors uh, of the stem and the leaves around it. Um, with the red, I added pink for the highlights. Um, purple, I added um, magenta for the highlights, and then an even darker purple because purple tulips are so uh, velvety and rich in color. And then white is tricky because it's white. Um, so I, Add the colors it's reflecting in the environment around, and then I used a white marker to go back in um, for highlights on each of the tulip petals. Now for the leaves, I used a combination of different greens, so use whatever greens you have, lighter greens, um, mid-tones, and even I'll go back in with a, a more saturated green at the end, and even a dark olive green for some of the shadows. But um, be thinking spring, bright colors, you know, but also be thinking shadows, like the purple tulip is behind so it's a little darker, but then sometimes things in front are a little bolder. So just sort of mixing and matching to add interest and depth, um, layering your greens, and then that very saturated green I use to sort of define. And this is a sketch, you know, so I'm keeping it sketchy. This is just loose, fun sketchbook work. And then um, I define the sketch because sketch Sketches are loose and wild. Um, I like to define marker sketches with uh, a black pen. So carefully working on the outlines on the uh, tulip flowers, then going and defining some of the wildness of the leaves and stems. In the center of the tulip, where the um, pistil and stamen would be coming out, should you be looking straight down, add a little dark for them, um, just for depth in the center of the petals and have fun with it. Remember it's a sketch, remember it's light and airy like spring, and thank you so much for joining me in this tulip sketch in the world of wings, worms, and wonder. I hope you'll check out my website and check out some of my other books and classes, and I'm so thankful you're here. Bye.